it's so um, it's so important. It's so uh, exciting. You know, it's it's beyond the world title. You know, the world championship as a as a combatant, as an athlete. You know, you want to reach those goals and do that. But to to be able to you know affect my children's future, to be able to you know be able to breathe financially, have that freedom that you know most all people look for. You know, not everybody looks for a world title or world champion, but Everybody, everybody would love to have that one million dollar check, and I, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not lost in understanding that that's a big opportunity, that's a big thing that PFL is doing that not a, a lot of other organizations are doing, and you know, I'm excited for the opportunity, I'm excited for the platform, and you know, we prepared in every way, shape, or form of my career to be to this moment to get to a, a culmination of champion. I know you said you're going to, you know, invest that if you were to win, but is there something, is there some toy that, that you would buy with that prize? Some toy, some toy that I would buy with the prize. Ah, uh, I, I, I'm not really a car guy, although everybody wants a nice car. I, like, you know, I could pick some five different cars. So it wasn't like a dream car that I have. Um, I would probably buy like, 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 uh, jewelry that like from wrist wrist pinky earring grilled chest i'm talking some bling bling and i would you know be it would be more investing again you know definitely gold you know all gold you know deal with my boys at mile high get something coast custom from bad man thing that's probably a toy that i, that I would buy but honestly you know with having the the children that i have and having the world be the way that it is um you know i'm too hungry to get a bump like that financially and not, you know, invest it in the right places and put it in the right things to, to not only advance it, but to lock in my future's future. What would you say to him before you guys get to do, do battle? Got a message? That's man you... win. Uh, yeah, that's man win. It's the respect thing with me and him. You know, we've seen a lot of the guys um, that we haven't liked, a lot of guys that are phony or fake fighters or, or fake warriors and things like that. Um, he's, a, he's, a real, he's a real man. He's a real fighter. He's a real dude, you know, um, respectful. You know, you can tell when two warriors meet, you know, we put the, the, the swords down and we don't have any animosity towards each other because we respect the, uh, the, not only the talent, but the work that it takes to be in the place that we are. So truly, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a place where we're looking at each other and we're saying, you know, hey, man, the best man win on that night. And, uh, we'll crown a champion. And, you know, he'll go home with $250,000, which isn't bad for him. Did you see uh, today that Anderson Silva is going to fight Jake Paul, his next opponent? Oh, wow. No, I didn't see that. I didn't see that, but that's wild. Good luck for the chins, man, because Paul is actually doing some big things now, and he's punching, and he's a serious fighter. That's a big name. Uh, man, I don't want to see the legend get, get attached to that kind of belt, but we'll see what it is. I know you were a wrestling guy, but were you around Anderson at all? I mean, he's – he. you could argue he's yeah, the greatest yeah. no, Anderson, Anderson was a big mentor. I was far with Anderson, and he, he talked to me a couple times about different things, about the fight game. And, yeah, being at Black House, you get to see all kinds of different um, combat athletes, and just athletes in general. Some NBA players come in and did some work there. So, yeah, no, I've been around Anderson. Uh, you know, Ben Askren was in my corner. Um, he was on my – the year I won nationals, he was on the coaching staff at Arizona State. So, you know, this, this MMA world has, has, has uh, definitely known who I've been and I've known who they are for a long time. Them to know. Well, then, as a wrestling guy with a wrestling background, you should want Anderson to go in there and, and take right the wrong for Tyron and Ben. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I'm just an MMA guy, but I wish it was, like, you know, in his prime. I wish he was doing, you know, real – come on. We, we Real fighters know real fighters. This ain't a real fight. Um, but it's a good name. So, like, you know what? I, I, I was in his seat. I would be doing the same thing. Same thing. I got, I got all kinds of love for the Jake Paul plan and, and what, is, what him and his brother are doing. And I got nothing to say about um, their efforts and how they're changing the game and what they're doing, you know. So more power to them. The bigger, the better. And, and he's gets, he gets the biggest mixed martial artist, arguably, of all time. Can Anderson get it done, though? Can Anderson go in there and – and win one for the MMA community because Jake's going through all these former champions. Yeah, well, he's a legend, so there's the ability to get it done, but he's way past his prime. So um, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm never going to be on camera saying that Anderson won't win. So you won't get that out of me, but he, he's past his prime. And, you know, Paul is definitely coming into his own. And don't take that long to become a you know, great striker when you really focus in on it and do it every day and really 
locked in and got good coaches, and that's what Paul has been doing. So uh, it's, a, it's a tall mountain to climb, that's what I'm saying.